It's a new year, and with that comes a renewed goal for Diocese of Brooklyn schools, making sure students with special needs are given the support they need to thrive. For one family, it's the reason they've stayed in Catholic school after making the switch from public school. Curse News' Jessica Easthope joins us now with their story. Hi, Jess. Hi, Christine. I'm about to introduce you to Raymond, who's a St. Stan student with an Individualized Education Specialized Service Plan, or IESP. Raymond's mom, Allison, says in public school, Raymond wasn't meeting his full potential, but bringing him back to faith-based education that supports him academically was the best decision she ever made. Um, Abby, you need your sweatshirt. Got it? It's cold out today. <laughs> Allison Coyle knows how challenging it can be to get three kids ready and out the door. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Some days it seems like there's an endless list of worries. Oh, gosh. No running, no running. But when she drops her kids off at school at St. Stanislaus Costca Catholic Academy, they all go away. It means a lot to be able to drop your kids off, you know, go to work for the day and know that they're well taken care of in all aspects. There was a time when Allison didn't feel like her kids' needs were being met, especially her oldest, Raymond's. From kindergarten to third grade, Raymond went to public school so he could get the extra support he needed for his individualized education plan, something St. Stan's couldn't give him at the time. Even though he was getting services there, his grades were, um, were slipping. He wasn't doing well. And Raymond soon realized it wasn't the best fit for him. In public school, I had a class. It was like two teachers and it was like 40-something kids. This school year, the DOE saw a 17% decrease in kindergarten registration citywide compared to the 2016-2017 school year. Registration in the Diocese of Brooklyn is up 2.2% over last year. It was COVID that forced the Coils to make the switch. St. Stan's principal, Kathy Mangone, says her school has gained 24 students who, like them, came during the pandemic and never left. And that's what St. Stan's is about, that is what Catholic school is about, is forming that connection, making it a better experience for them. And now St. Stan's offers the special education, occupational and speech therapy students like Raymond Need, all in the school building. We have that extra added faith and we don't want someone excluded from that because they have special needs. Today, all there is to say, is Raymond's thriving. It's easier to work in a smaller environment. I like school. I've always liked school. He was now being able to get some extra special support needed, um, and he's doing so great. With each passing day, there's one less worry on the list. Raymond's story is unique, just like the needs of every student with an IESP. According to the school's office 10 years ago, it wouldn't have been possible for Raymond to get this level of support. But now students with IESPs attend all 67 Catholic academies in the Diocese of Brooklyn. Christine. Wow, Jess. And from what I understand, the Diocese of Brooklyn has made some significant strides in this area of education in recent years. Definitely. Let me tell you a little bit about how committed schools in the Diocese of Brooklyn are when it comes to this area of education. So in every school, there's a special education team. There's an occupational therapist, a speech therapist, learning support students can get inside their school building during the school day and after. In addition, the diocese also has hired a special education field representative who communicates directly with the schools and advocates for the students. And 40 diocese schools have been the recipient of a grant that puts special education coaches in classrooms with teachers, instructing them on how to not only meet the needs of these students with IESPs, but implement inclusive strategies and practices that their entire classroom can benefit from. That's great. Thanks, Jess. Thank you. All right, if you're interested in sending your children to Catholic school, just visit catholicschoolsbq.org or call 718-965-7380 for more information. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.